Hey, what's up everybody? Shinwa here with Geekin' Out, bringing you the latest and greatest in comics, games, toys, and tech. And I'm back fresh from Baltimore Comic Con with a whole bunch of slab books I'm gonna go over. Back from their uh, CGC on-site grading, which was great. Kudos to the CGC team there. A couple of them that, uh, couple of them that I noticed from uh, other cons that I've uh, been to and I've seen. Uh, they definitely worked hard and overtime to get these books uh, submitted and graded for us. So kudos to the CGC team there. So before I begin showing you the slabs here, I'm just going to show you just a couple things that I picked up from the con. First, I have <clears throat> Totally Awesome Hulk, number one, signed by Greg Pack. Now, I had some books that were being submitted for the Signature Series through CGC. And, and I'm gonna go over those later. I'm gonna show you blue labels first and then I'll show you signature series yellow label. Um, I finally got to meet Greg Pack, which I'll go over once I show you the other books. But he gave me a free Totally Awesome Hulk number one uh, signed here. Sorry for the glare, you can see it signed there. So I was happy about that. It was an honor to meet him. Um, I also bought from one of the other vendors uh, Incredible Hulk number six variant cover. Oh, wait, got it. I got it backwards. Yeah, so it's the connecting cover with Red Hulk and Green Hulk, covered by Ed McGinnis. So, finally happy to own this. Very happy about that. What else did I get? Yes, so, uh, Stan Sakai, uh, forgive me if I mispronounce your name, sir, uh, if you ever come across this video, but uh, creator of Usagi Ojimbo, uh, who's also affiliated with the Ninja Turtles, obviously. Uh, bought this hardcover book. It's actually by IDW. Uh, There's a story between Usagi Ojimbo and the Ninja Turtles. And he signed it. And you see a uh, Usagi Ojimbo uh, doodle there, and he signed it. Was very happy about that. It was an honor to meet him. And uh, I also picked up a print from him, also signed by him. And this is number 79 out of 250. So it's, it's a limited print. So I'm happy to own that. I know you guys are like, hurry up, get to the slab books. And lastly, before I show you that, I picked up a Street Fighter tribute and Street Fighter 2 Ultimate Edition. Um, that's funny, both Ken is on there. But either way, this is an art book tribute to Street Fighter. And this is actually uh, the Street Fighter comics uh, one, zero, I believe zero through six, one through six, sorry, one through six. Uh, comic issues and then issues 1 through 12 all bundled up here so had to get that I have the single issues but to have them in a trade paperback was great so oh yeah let's get to business while you guys are here all right so Incredible Hulk 340 classic Todd McFarlane cover it got an 8.0 I did have this press there was actually a spine roll there and uh my guy that pressed it, he uh, was able to fix it. So I got an 8.0. Not too bad, not too bad, not too bad. I'm okay with that. And let me tell you real quick uh, before I proceed. So the on-site grading was a blast. I got there Friday. Uh, it was a long line to submit books. I think I waited. It had to have been like an hour and a half just to get to the front. Um, and you know, they took my submissions and that was Friday. I got some books back Saturday. I did a, I think one submission on Saturday and I got that back Sunday. So like I said, in the beginning of the video, kudos to those guys, they worked hard to get our books graded. Next, Invincible number one, I got a 9.4. Now I really thought I was gonna get like an 8.5. I did have this book pressed and I'm happy. It came back a 9.4, I'm, I'm satisfied with that. I'm cool with that. Let's see. Amazing Spider-Man 238, first appearance of Hobgoblin and the tattoos. Um, insert and sample is there, got a 9.4. This was pressed. I'm happy with that. I'm cool with that. Infinity Gauntlet number one, 8.5. <sighs> I really feel this is gonna get at least a 9.0 or 9.2. Um, this wasn't pressed, so. Completely understandable, I'm fine with that. One of my favorite books, uh, Wolverine number 145, got a 
Uh, he got his adamantium back. This is the Dynamic Forces cover. And this is actually number, I think, uh, how many was it? 3,000 copies were created. And this is number 2,574. So this is Wolverine 145. It's got a 9.4. I'm cool with that. I actually thought that was going to be like a, a 9.0, but I'm cool with that. X-Force 11, first real appearance of Domino. 9.8, had it pressed. Great cover. Yeah, good cover. I'm cool with the grade on that. This I was very happy about. Spawn Silver, thank you. 9.8, I had this book pressed. I am very happy with this grade. Very happy. Very happy. Let's see. Spawn Director's Cut number one, 9.8. Very happy about that. Very happy. What I'm not so happy about is my Walking Dead number one got an 8.0. That hurts. This, I'm close up. That hurt. At least this should have been a 9.0, 9.2. I had this book pressed. Um, I do have to get the graders notes because I really need to see how this book pressed. There were like wavy pages and uh, the comic book presser was able to get it out and it still came back in 8.0. .8 so I'm not happy. I wasn't happy about that. I'm still not happy about that. Let's see. Okay. Incredible Hulk number 92. Yeah, 92. Go figure. 92. I got a 9.2. I'm okay with it. I'm okay with it. I didn't have this book pressed or anything. Came back in 9.2. I'm cool with that. That's funny. And uh, creme de la creme. This was Edge of Venomverse number one, variant D by Unknown Comics by uh, Greg Horn cover. This is the Greg Horn cover, 9.8. Did not have this book pressed. Actually, when I got it in the mail, I never even took it out of the case. And it's funny because Greg Horn was there. And uh, initially I thought about it. I was like, yeah, I'm going to get the signature. Uh, his autograph on it. And then I thought about it. I said, no, 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 no. I told him, I was like, no, I don't want any autographs. I got the the first three covers um, with his autograph on it. I got a sign. But this one, I was like, eh, I want this untouched. Untouched. Oh, yeah. All right, guys. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to chop this video up in two parts because I don't want it to be too lengthy. Um, so part one, this will be the regular blue labels. And then I'll do part two for you guys, uh, all signature series, and show you what I got. So make sure you rate, comment, and subscribe. And I'll be back with more videos. Peace.